Alright guys, today I'm going to talk about some of the worst companies that web developers should really try to avoid as much as possible. And this video is going to be almost like a continuation from my last video where I was talking about uh, if you should get a job as a C-sharp developer with ASP.NET. And then I, and there I was talking about that most of these companies that they hire for C-sharp developers are like big companies, really corporate companies uh, that they need people all the time to be in there uh, working on their products. And that's when I got this comment from uh, one of our subscribers. Uh, his name is Mateus. And Mateus is just saying something like this. Sharing my experience, in my opinion, I do not recommend uh, these kind of companies. Uh, they pay really well. So this is one of the good things about these companies. These companies, they actually pay you really well, but is not worth it due to the pressure and the products and markets that these companies operate. So let me just stop in here a little bit uh, and talk about this. Most of these big companies uh, that they pay actually really well, you also are going to be under a lot of pressure. So what does this mean? This means that usually, for example, you have to build a website, for example, uh, in a month, not just by yourself, but with a team. And you are all the time under pressure that you have to make sure everything is fine and everything. Um, and all of these, you, you're going to feel like everyone likes to work in a place that you enjoy. You don't want to work on a place that you... you you step in in the morning, you are already under pressure because people are going to ask you, is this ready? When is it going to be ready? And you are all the time like on your feet. Maybe some people, they like it, but not everyone. So let's just get uh, um, in here to the rest of this comment. So uh, most of these companies, they do not motivate you. My internship was precisely in a large company that developed that was developed for insurance market. It was pressure all the time. Uh, my managers had no time to answer my questions and help with my doubts. So this is another problem in here. In these big companies, especially if you are starting out as a junior developer, um, these people, they don't have time for you. You have to be most of the time on your, on your own by yourself. So if you, if you don't know how to do something, Google is going to be your best friend because all these people around in these big corporate uh, uh, companies, your managers, if you want to reach out to them, uh, you need to book an appointment uh, uh, for next week or for next Friday or whatever, like book an hour so you can go and talk to them and whatever. It, it's like this. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Um, but they were all the time on my feet charging deadlines that they had miscalculated themselves and end up left for the subordinates. There was a bullying culture where each level where each level was bullying the employee below. <laughs> and me and the other interns were always bullied in and out of the company. Even at our lunch break, where the interns had lunch at the mall with the juniors and a few... So here it is another example, guys. This is this is completely crazy. I it this happened to me one time. One time, let me just like uh, drop this for a second. One time, I was one of, in one of these companies. I was in my lunch time as well, just like Mateus was saying in here. Um, and they were coming to me. I had like one hour lunch time or something like this in my contract. Uh, I had like 30 minutes lunch, so I was at my desk eating my lunch like most of the employees do uh, in an um, in office environment. And all of a sudden, my manager comes to me, Hey Telmo, uh, do you mind to hurry up with this kind of thing? I was like, fucking hell, I'm, I'm, in, my, uh, I'm in my lunch? Come on, I cannot... Uh, because once you go out of your lunch, they are all the time like, is this done? Is this ready? And, and especially like Mateus was just like mentioning in here, sometimes these managers, they give you, for example, a deadline for to do something, for example, for a week. And uh, maybe it's not even possible this week because sometimes these managers, they are not even um, with a background in, uh, in computer science or anything. So these kind of managers, most of the times, they can be, for example, uh, from uh, with a background of marketing or, uh, or um, 
these kind of different things other than computer science so so they don't know exactly the the time that it takes to do something i remember when i was in one kind of situation like this my manager asked me by myself to do some kind of a, a website uh, for people to sign in to pay and whatever and i was just like a junior developer i, I had no idea how to do anything i, I had to learn and ask some help but uh, it was crazy, like, how can you give me this for myself when usually these kind of websites are made by teams of 10 people, 15 people or whatever. So you need to be ready for these kind of things, guys. And, and uh, Mateus, he was all also mentioning in here that there is some, a kind of a bully, of a bully uh, culture. And this happened in where these kind of companies they are called the software house the software house these are the the ones that they are the worst okay um the, usually these kind of software houses they are like full with these people that uh, they these geeks okay that they they don't have any life out of their own job so if they are going home they don't have a girlfriend they don't have friends they they don't go out or anything they just live to code i'm not saying that this is wrong but there are some people who are just like blindsided in this and especially for people who are starting out junior developers you will commit some mistakes from time to time like uh, maybe your code is not so optimized or maybe you have a bug that you didn't notice but these guys, these uh, these donkeys that uh, you can, uh, they only see like this to the front, okay? Um, they are just like trying to bully you and your colleagues that uh, you are just starting out, saying, why this is not, not okay? Why this is uh, with whatever, you know? They are coming after you like, uh, like vultures, like, like hyenas. I'm telling you, some of these, that's why, for example, now when I was applying for this new job, um, that uh, I, I just got a job now at, at um, a boot camp where I'm going to be teaching. I'm so happy that I'm going to be doing something that I really love. But there was a lot of software companies reaching out to me to try to give me a job. And I was like, <laughs> I was like this with a cross. Stay away from me. I don't want, even though, even though I really like to code, I really like to learn new things. But... I wouldn't like to go back to this culture because I worked already in a company like that, like I mentioned, where all of these people, they are like all the time under pressure. Is this done? Is this whatever? Uh, why is this like this? You know, there is like no friendship or anything. This is just like pure work and you are under pressure all the time. And money is not everything, guys, I'm telling you. So this is some... Let me just go back in here to see if I, if I miss something in here from uh, uh, Mateus. Uh, the mid developers were bullied from the senior developers who bully the juniors and so on we always had the feeling of just being one more so this is another point is like you feel in these kind of companies that you are nothing in there that you will never be coming there because people they don't help you they don't try to build some kind of relationships with you they don't give you any time you are just someone else you are just like a sheep a sheep in there you are just like one more basically uh, let me see what else is in here. Um, and finally, after uh, nine months, they sent me away. A week later, I received a proposal and I was hired by a small agency as a junior front-end developer to work with React. I accepted the challenge and I'm here now for six months, earning less, but learning a lot more. So this is perfect. As you can see, this is really perfect. And I'm working on a lot of cool projects that motivate me. So, like I said, guys, um, I think I think uh, for you that you are starting out, maybe when you for your first few jobs, try to stay away from these companies because it's full of these bully people that uh, they don't care about you, they don't care about teaching you, they just care about bullying you. Like, why is this wrong? Why whatever? And instead of coming to you, try to see. Uh, what can you improve? What can you do better? It's all about pressure, all about bullying. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe I was before, let me just say this. Before I was working in, uh, in web development, I was working in a coffee shop that this kind of environment was the same. I was working in this coffee shop. I was starting at four in the morning 
um, f five in the morning, sorry, I was waking up uh, for something. Uh, and it was this kind of bully culture. Uh, why is this not ready? Well, when this is going to be ready? Well, what's going on? It's like you can't even breathe. For sure, maybe some of you guys, you are in the same exact position that you are working in these horrible jobs uh, that you can't breathe. They are pushing you all the time and it's just like you want to kill yourself or you just want to, to quit the job, but you can't because you need to pay the bills. But trust me, guys. There are a lot of good jobs out there with some good people as well. You just need to keep looking. I remember when I was working in this coffee shop that I really hated because of this pressure, because I, I, I hated the times as well. And there was no friendly people in there as well. Um, I'm telling you, there are good jobs out there. You just have to keep searching. You just have to keep fighting. And for sure, you will find this. Uh, when I when I left actually from from my coffee shop job to my first web developer job, the first job that I had was really really good, uh, really casual. Was in an agency, uh, and then when I moved from that first job to the second one that I was using C Sharp and ASP.NET, that that was like one of the worst things ever for me because it was all this pressure all the time. And let me tell you one thing: there was one time that actually. Um, they were pushing, okay, we need to finish this project by tomorrow or, or by next week. And every day I was staying later. For example, if my job was finishing at 5.30 in the afternoon, I was finishing at 7. Okay, 7 was one hour and a half later. Um, and then when I actually, we delivered these and everything, I heard them talking, like the manager saying that, we didn't actually need to finish this project uh, by that time. It was just like the director, like one of the big bosses in there in the office. They just wanted to push us to see what, what we can do. And, uh, you know, just for us to not be relaxed at work. When I hear this, I was, I was completely crushed. I was like, come on, I'm staying later every day, one hour and a half in all these kind of things. And it was just like a test to see what, what can we do and for us to not just be relaxed at work. Of course, you can't be relaxed, but you can't be pushing people like this staying later for nothing, for this kind of made up, these uh, deadlines that is just like uh, a joke, come on. But um, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you can really understand these kind of things. One thing that I want to tell you is before you join any company out there, there is this website called Glassdoor, okay? Glassdoor, put it on Google. This is a website where employees from, from companies, they, they leave reviews about the companies where they are working. So usually before I join a new company, I try to go to Glassdoor and see what other developers or other people who work there, what kind of reviews do they leave? Is that company good? Is that company uh, a bully culture? They are asking you to stay later. All these kinds of things. So keep an eye on it before you, you join any new company. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Uh, give me your opinion about all this bully culture. What do you think about it? Uh, do you work in some company like this as well? As usual, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.